Hey everyone, Angela here with Allocate Designs and I am back with another Create With Me episode. Um, so I've got some pages picked out for my next, one of the next journals I'm working on. And I just thought I would turn the camera on while I was doing some embellishing. So to help speed things along a little bit, I've already pulled aside some various ephemera and buttons and that kind of stuff that I might want to use on these pages. And I have them in this <laughs> really kind of cool antique muffin tin that I picked up at an antique shop uh, just to kind of hold all my little bits that I'm currently using to work on. And um, there isn't really a theme so much to this journal as it's more of just a color theme with the the kind of like robin's egg blue and some neutral tones and just kind of vintage in general. So I already have the pages sewn and the various uh, laces sewn onto the pages as well. And I th I've picked out a few pieces that I think I'm going to use on this first page here. So all these pages are like the beginning of each signature pattern page with the pockets um, that I use. So I'm just going to go ahead and do some inking around the edges. And these are all, not all, but the, the ones that I'm currently using here are reproduction ephemera. And I believe these ones are all Tsunami Rose. I do have some authentic pieces that I've also picked out to possibly use. Uh, this doesn't necessarily mean these are specifically what I'm going to use, or I might use them all, I might not use all of them. We'll see how it goes. Uh, so I hope everyone's having a good Memorial Day weekend here in the States. Whoops. And let me get the paper towel. I'm just going to wipe that down there. I have had a great 3D weekend. I've been working a lot on some journals and whatnot. So, in here, I have some of the new newish Tim Holtz brads that are like the number number brads. I don't know what number I'm looking for. I'm just I don't know. Let's see 15. We'll go with 15. It doesn't have any significance to it whatsoever. I just know I don't want to use 25 because I want to save that for when I do a Christmas journal. So I'm thinking I want it to go something like this and maybe do I want to do this or do I want to do a flower because I've got some flowers set aside here. Hmm, I kind of like the flower. Do I like the flower with, with this as the center? Nah, we'll use a button. Okay, so we're just going to glue these down, I suppose. Yeah, my embellishing process is not anything specific or scientific. It's just, let's throw some stuff down. See how I like it. It can take me forever to embellish things because I'm constantly changing, deciding I like this more or that more. Probably won't really learn anything from this so much as just, I don't know, watch it and be maybe somewhat entertained. 
who knows? All right, where did I set my glue? I also do that a lot. Um, uh, there was quite a few of you that liked my my first create with me when I did the embellished envelopes and bags uh, inspired by Nazzy over at Amity Bloom. So I thought just for funsies today, I would go ahead and turn the camera on while I was working on this one. If you heard that, that was the dog upstairs barking at Gosh only knows what. He likes to bark at everything. He's a little little possessive and a little antisocial. <laughs> Alright. So we're just gonna stick that down with some hot glue. And then I've got some buttons over here. So what I've been doing with my buttons is kind of stringing them and tying them on. I've got these spools of, let me grab one here, old vintage JP and Coates Big Ball Mercenized Crochet Thread. And it's a little too fragile for sewing in signatures on journals. And so I've just been using it to thread my buttons so that they have that, that thread through them. Now some of the vintage buttons, excuse me, in my collection already, or I should say still have that thread in them from when they were originally used. But a lot of them do not and I don't always use the the ones with the thread but sometimes I do so I like that one it has that pretty pearl sheen to it and we've got some hot glue Press that down. All right, so that's that page. Now, what do I want to do for this page? I have been thinking, I have this cute little midget glassine bag. I was thinking of putting that there and maybe only gluing part of it down so it's still kind of like a little tuck space. But then putting something on there too embellish it so let's see what I've got here I think the majority if not all of these are <clears throat> from my collection of tsunami rose let's see that's kind of cute I want to put it on there all square or do I want to do it kind of cockeyed Hmm, let's think about that while we ink it up. Because naturally we've got to add some ink. Ooh, that got a little heavy. I'm used to, when I'm working, I'm either listening to music or the majority of the time I'm watching a movie or something on Netflix or Hulu. So I apologize for the <laughs> sound effects. It's, it's a little too quiet. It's a little too quiet. All right, so I don't, I don't know. You guys are probably yelling at me saying, do it this way or do it that way. I don't, I don't know. Why do I want to do it? All right, well, first, let's go ahead and see how far up do I need to add the glue? Go almost all the way up. Okay. 
Sorry, talking to myself. I do that. I do that a lot. So, there's some glue. And how do I have that? Like this. Such riveting TV. <laughs> All right, so let's see. We got that. We could do this little number, Brad. Do we like that? I think we like that. All right. Oh yeah. I don't usually use a lot of Brads, although I have a lot of Brads. So, I've recently been going through and trying to reorganize my craft space. And in the process, I've found a lot of things that I forgot I had. Please tell me I'm not the only one that does that. It was like I went craft shopping all over again. And in my craft room. I had this whole box of stuff I had bought a year and a half or so ago at an antique mall and I had kind of forgotten what all was in there because I was in this hoarding stage. I didn't want to use the good vintage stuff but now, now I've acquired more and I'm trying to actually use some of it. Ooh, cheesecloth. I need some cheesecloth. That's what I need. Where did I put it? Okay. Let's get some cheesecloth here. Cut off a chunk. And let's stretch and fray it a bit. it. Something like this maybe. Something like this. Alright, so I gotta remember I want to leave that as a tuck space. Not to glue this corner. So, I use all different types of glues. My kind of go-to is just the Eileen's Tacky, but for different projects and different things, I use hot glue, I use the Fabrifix, which I don't know what my deal was yesterday. I was trying to use the Fabrifix and I was struggling with it big time. All right, so I think, I think this is kind of sort of how I had it. And just kind of burnish it on real good there. Especially around the brad. Um, so this is kind of one of the edges of the, the cheesecloth. I don't like it because it doesn't so we gotta trim that off because I want it to be kind of frayed and messy and yeah now we're talking okay so where did my trash go oops don't mind me just knocking more stuff down is that good do we want to add anything more so I just want to test it yeah see so have a little little tuck spot behind there and then put something real tiny in there all right I like it we're good we're good so there's those pages 
he is the next one. What do we want to do for this guy? Hmm? <laughs> so a bunch of the ephemera that I printed out from Tsunami Rose, Daisy Collins' shop, I just shrunk down real tiny because I knew I wanted to use them for embellishing like pages and stuff. But I also have some real stuff here. We got this cute black and white. I scored a whole box of these authentic um, price tags at an antique market. So I'm not liking that right now though. But I kind of like this. There's also this one that's from Nantucket Beach, Boston, I think it says. Hmm, that kind of blends in too much with the tones of the page, so maybe we'll do that one. Oh, I also have this one with these people at a picnic table. Kind of like that one. All right, we're going to go with that one. And I've got some stamps here. So maybe we'll layer a stamp on it and let's see what else, what else, let's see what buttons I've got. So I'm kind of trying to stay with some of the, the blues in this. And then let's add maybe a neutral, a neutral color button with that. That's kind of got a gray tone to it. What do we think? What do we think? What do we think? Never tried to ink one of these, but we'll see. It's kind of glossy. But I feel like it needs some edging on it. Let's see. Do I have some of my permanent ink over here? Yeah. We'll try some of this. We'll try some of this. needs needs a little something there we, go. there we go that's a little bit better okay so we'll do this and we'll glue that one down I was super lucky over my vacation back in April we went to visit family in Kansas and while we were there we did lots of antiquing and I I scored a major amount of stuff I had scored a whole box full of these old black and white photos for like five bucks it was like a ridiculous deal so I was super Super duper excited about that. That was just one of the many things. One of the many things I got. All right, and then the stamp can go there. If I can get my fingers to work. They don't, they don't like to work sometimes. Nope, nope, nope. I think I'm getting arthritis in my hands, to be honest with you. After being barista for 11 years and then always working with my hands, I work in retail now at Hobby Lobby. 
tell you, some days though, they just don't want to work. Oh my goodness, excuse me. Alright, so there's those. I feel like I don't want to necessarily do cheesecloth behind the buttons. But I feel like it needs something. So maybe some fibers. I've got this faux fur eyelash yarn, whatever you want to call it. Naturally, I can't find the end. There we go. So let's see if we like this at all. We do a little bit of this behind this button here. Yeah, I think so. I think so. So we're just going to leave that there and put some hot glue on the button. Oh, now my nose is all stuffy. I'm sorry, guys. This time of year, my allergies just go bananas and I get migraines like crazy. And it's hot outside. It's cold in my basement where I'm working, which is why I've got the, the sweater on. Well, it's going to be like 93 degrees today, and it's already hot and humid and muggy out there, and I am not a fan. I am not a fan at all. It's not even June yet, and it's already too hot. It does not make me a happy camper. Alright, so there's those. And that's that page. Okie dokie. What do we want to do on this page now? I'm thinking maybe we'll just do something a little simple and just run some lace across. So let me see. I've got lace everywhere. I've gotten a ridiculous amount of lace lately. I have a new new uh new place to buy lace and she's amazing if you're watching hi sean let's see which one do i want this jar just happens to be um some of the lace that i've already coffee dyed and coffee stained so it was handy and sitting right next to me, so I thought I'd grab it. You want to just do something cute and dainty like this? Hmm. I think so. I think I like that. Because not every page has to be, like, super embellished. So let's get the Fabrifix out. Let's see how it works today, because like I said yesterday, I was struggle train. We're just going to run a little line across. Little line across. I, I like the bottles when I first buy them, but then once they get about half empty, if you don't put the cap on right away, they start like bubbling out like a freaking volcano. Uh, sorry if my head's in the way. I'm not even noticing that. I see my big old head in the way. Yeah, I'm not real um, experienced, we'll say. In the art of using this glue a lot of times uh, depending on the size of the lace I'll use hot glue like I love my hot glue gun but this one seemed awfully dainty so I wanted to use the fabric fix make sure I'm not gluing the pocket down because you know that's something I would Totally do. So let's make sure there's no glue there. And 
we'll call that good. I'll trim this little edge here once it dries. But there's that page. Let's see, we're already at, what, 26, 25, 26 minutes? I've only done two pages. That's it. That's, well, that is not surprising. That is not surprising one, one stinking bit, to be honest. Okay. What else? What else can we do? <laughs> I'm looking around my desk and trying to find inspiration for what I want to use next. All right. Let's see here. Got some more photos. These ones are all the real deal. I'm not liking any of those right now, so let's set those aside and go through the faux reproduction stuff. Now this page is a little bit busier. And I kind of wanted to do something big because I want to cover up the upside down fleur de -lis. So maybe that. Or. Ooh, I like that. We'll go with like the minty green one. And. Go ahead and ink this one up a bit. So I'm trying to think what I want to do with this. Probably maybe some buttons. Because I've already done a brad. Ooh, I know. Maybe I'll do. get super tight and you can barely get them on the page and other ones are super duper loose all right so we've got that we've got this I don't know why I also always do everything crooked at an angle I can't like do square things it's just I'm weird I don't know I don't know no I've got do some layering with that which I like but that blends in a little too much so what else do I have what else do I have I have one of the Tim Holtz bottle milk bottle cap things which I might like hmm <laughs> you guys are probably like just shut up and pick something already I know this is kind of bright but I liked this one so I threw it in there <laughs> there I go with the sound effects again I can't help myself I can't help myself Yeah, I think I might like the bottle cap. I think, I think, I think. Let's see here. Now I don't want to cover the picture. And that's going to snugly fit under there, maybe. Sort of. Like this? Do we like this? I need. I need some cheese. Some cheese cloth. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
do 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 yeah sorry i'm i'm a total freaking weirdo if you haven't figured that out by watching my channel yet well now you know now you know all right so if we add some cheesecloth i think i think we like this i think we like this with the riveting television. I'm such a dork. I'm such a dork. So, I've been re-watching the TV show Fringe. It's one of my favorite TV shows. I'm kind of obsessed with it. And that's all I kind of want to do right now is I don't want to go to work. I just want to craft and watch Fringe. My husband's like, you watch weird things. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, I do. I like weird. I like weird because I'm a little bit weird. So, you know, it makes total utter sense, right? Right. All right, I think. I don't think I'm gonna glue the milk bottle cap down. I think it's in there pretty, pretty snug. And that way, whoever gets this journal, they decide they need to take the milk cap off because it is kind of, kind of big. Whoops. Let's fix this. I got a little excited in my burnishing. So if it's in their way when they're writing, they can remove it. Oh, dad nab it. All right, we're gonna let that dry and then we'll come back later and fix it. And trim off that a little bit. And spread that out. Yahoo! Okay, so there's that pocket. big flower clips so that it's movable. I will be right back. I gotta get a bigger flower. I need a bigger flower. That's another thing. So I have a ridiculous stash of silk flowers. Because I love them. I love them. Yes, I do. Okay. Also, let's see what else we've got here. I've got these boxes of embellishments that I went through and organized. And again, found stuff I forgot I had. So this is a lot of metal embellishments. Do, 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 do. Is there anything in here I want to use? Got these from Tim Holtz. I've never used these. I've got stuff in here I've never used. So, you know, maybe I should. Although, I feel like this is more for doing like charmies, like hanging stuff off the side. 
Holy moly, I didn't realize how big and awkward that is. Yeah, mm hmm Okay. So, maybe we'll come back to this when we do some hanging charms. But I do need, I do need a paper clip. So let's get my box of clips. And I'm just going to use a regular old paper clip here. So I'll show you all my easy way of doing my big flower clips. So I got two of the one inch hole punches. On, I just when I have scraps of, you know, cardstock or whatever left from when I'm printing stuff out. I'll just cut out some holes, some holes, some circles, and set them aside for when I do these, these paper clips. So I just do some glue and glue the other side down. Because this makes a base to glue the flower, the flower, and I think I'm going to do a leaf and a flower, because why not? So when I use these leaves that you get from the stems of silk flowers, I peel off this plastic part because it's a little, a little big, a little cumbersome, and so this is going to clip about here so we'll glue the leaf here so I'm just gonna hold that kind of where I want it and add some hot glue we seeped out burning the fingers actually it's not too bad my fingers are kind of used to it kind of used to it now i've got these hydrangea petals Ugh, can't get it off can't get it off i'm thinking of doing one there double flower. Mm, I'm not liking that. But we're going to add some fibers. Because I do like the fibers. I'm going to add quite a bit. So I just cut off a length of the fiber and kind of wrap it around my fingers here. Mm, that might be too big. Tighten it up. Yank out Yank out some of the, the fibers and the hairs there and lay it. Erg. Doesn't always work the first time around. Lay it down. Yes. No, oh, maybe so. And then our flower's going to go on top of that. glue and that will hold it down and again with the other one again with the riveting television yeah. that I apparently turned into a musical good grief Charlie Brown I was feeling I'm gonna lose subscribers after this one this video y'all are gonna be like um yeah you're crazy see ya and we're gonna finesse some of the fibers here I don't think I have any buttons in there that I want to use so excuse my reach I'm gonna grab another one of my button jars yeah this is just one of the many button jars I have, especially of the, 
the white varieties because I'm going to want a big one. Do I like that one? Do I like that one? I don't know. Maybe, maybe. I also take forever to decide on the right button because, again, I'm a weirdo. No. Mm. I'm trying not to let them go everywhere. Trying to be a little bit cleaner of a crafter, at least while I'm on video. Mm, see that one? Mm, Miney Mo. We'll stick with the first one. Flip that over. Ah! There it goes. It dropped. It fell. Shocking. Unglue my finger. And there we go. Now, what I do when I get these little sides bubbling out, I got a broken embossing tool that I use to kind of peel the excess hot glue. go. All right, so then we'll clip this one here. That way the pocket has a little embellishment. And then we can clip some ephemera to this side. All right, so that, that was three pages. That was all. I have three more for this journal, but I'm already almost at 43 minutes, so we're going to call that good for this episode, because um, I don't want to bore you guys anymore, weird you guys out anymore <laughs> with what I've done. So yeah, these are the pages we decorated. I'm digging it, I'm digging it, I think. I think, I think. So, yeah. Uh, thanks for stopping by and having a laugh with me or at me. It's all good. Um, again, hopefully you guys have a great day and I will see you back here in a little while. Bye, guys. <laughs>